morning. Good morning to you. My name's Ken Tracy, and uh, this is Coffee with Ken. It is Wednesday morning. It's 5.04 a.m. I believe it's November 15th. Happy Wednesday. It's November 15th already. We're halfway through the second to last month of 2023. Again, I uh, talk about it a lot, uh, but time moves pretty fast. And uh, I think it's uh, a lesson to be learned from that and that we should enjoy the moment. Because uh, again, time moves pretty fast. And if you don't enjoy the moment, you're going to miss it at all. So, anyway. Um, anyway, this is a show that I have been doing for quite some time. And it is a show about me talking. And it's a show about me sharing some feelings. Kind of waking up and rubbing the sleep out of my eyes. Getting my day started. Uh, but for those that have been watching a while, you know... Uh, it's not just a show about me talking. My coffee maker's about to beep, so bear with me. It's taking a little while. There it goes. Anyway, for those that have been watching a while, you know it's not just a show about me talking. Uh, you know it's also a show about me sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I just poured a nice hot cup of coffee. And I am so excited to take my first sip uh, this morning, and I'll tell you why in a moment. So my hope is that wherever you are, uh, whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. So when I was at the store yesterday, I picked up a bag of the gingerbread from Starbucks. And I'm excited to have my second sip, so let's do it. Mm. Oh, man, it's nice. It's not as overwhelming of gingerbread -y as I thought it might be, but it uh, gives you a subtle reminder of the holiday season and a little bit of the flavor of a gingerbread cookie. So I'm uh, going to give it to my wife, see if she knows what it is. Don't tell her. But anyway, how are you guys doing? How you feel? How'd you sleep? I slept wonderfully. I uh, woke up a little bit ago. The house was quiet, which is a special treat. So, you know, we have five kids in the house and two little babies. And anytime I get up and get to start my day uh, without two little <laughs> balls of flesh, makes my mornings go a little bit easier and my coffee drinking go a heck of a lot easier so I'm enjoying that uh, went to bed early uh, again woke up a couple times during the night uh, but felt relaxed and comfortable and safe uh, in bed uh, I've been struggling with something over the last few weeks uh, I had planned to work a couple uh, part-time jobs and uh, uh, but they're both kind of physical jobs and uh, one was last year at the same time I was working a part-time job for the UPS uh, being a driver helper and it was a job I enjoyed a lot it felt great bringing packages to uh, uh, to homeowner stores uh, around the holidays and people saw you there also always excited to get a package so I was kind of looking forward to doing that uh, but I started working out I don't know two three months ago and irritated my knee and since that time I've been kind of hobbling around it's probably more details than you know but it was on my mind when I woke up this morning and because of that I'm struggling walking and I don't believe I could do the job of uh, <laughs> which is hard to say I think that's what I'm struggling with it's hard to say uh, due to limitations or aging or whatever struggles you might have that you're not fit to do a job and I think as a man uh, that hurts, and it hurts my ego, and uh, I was kind of looking forward to doing it this year, and I don't think I'm going to be able to, and I, honestly, I'm kind of a little bummed out about that, and uh, uh, <laughs> struggling with it, so I was laying there, 
uh, thinking about that as I uh, was waking up this morning that I wish I was feeling a little better. I got made a doctor's appointment. I'm doing what I could, can, I think. Uh, but I thought my knee would be better by now, and it's just not. And I was talking about it with my wife the other day. And she said it was God's way of telling me not to do the job. And, you know, maybe that's true, but sometimes God's message is a tough pill to swallow. But, um, anyway, I was uh, doing things to turn my spirits around, and I prayed a little bit, and I thought about things I was grateful for, and I've got a lot of blessings in this life, uh, so I was rattling them off. And my last bit of gratuity was when I remembered that I had gingerbread coffee waiting for me down below. And I thank God for the gingerbread coffee. Got up out of bed and scurried downstairs, started the coffee maker, let Holly out, and uh, started my day. So I'm going to have one more sip of coffee and leave you with that. Mm. I'm petting Holly with my left arm. She likes a good pet while I'm talking to my camera. But anyway, now i got to take one, one more sip. Wednesday morning. Hope your week's going well. Hope your month's going well. I hope your 2023 is going well. I hope you're uh, appreciating the little moments. Uh, again, I talk about it a fair bit. I was just out letting Holly out. I looked sky, or, uh, skyward and the sky was clear and bright. And there were a lot of beautiful, beautiful stars in the sky. And uh, it's nice to appreciate those things. And I hope that you're appreciating the little things like the flavor of your coffee or the warmth of your bed or the stars in the sky. And again, I hope your uh, week's gone, gotten off to a great start. I uh, hope you're excited about your day. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.